Hi, I'm Alexandria Culweatherer, and I'm an outreach specialist with the Wisconsin Cancer Collaborative. Perfect. So tell me a little bit about this cancer uh, survivorship care survey that the collaborative did. Yeah, so I think it'd be helpful to define what cancer survivorship means first. And so really, a cancer survivorship refers to the time of your overall health and well-being from the time of diagnosis until the end of your life. And that can really vary depending on your cancer type or the person, and that just really can vary quite a bit. And so survivorship care visits can help cancer survivors identify and manage emotional and physical needs after cancer treatment. So things like, let's say a person had cancer as a kid. They could go to the doctor to make sure they're getting the routine tests they need to make sure cancer is not coming back. But also, let's say they're having issues with fatigue, and they're having difficulty sleeping, and they're having a lot of anxiety. Those are things that they could talk with their doctor about. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so, so what are some, like, we, can, uh, we can dive into uh, a few of those uh, in a bit. But, so, so tell me a little bit about uh, then the survey itself. So what, what were you trying to determine with this survey? What did, what did you do with it? What was it? So in our study, we were looking at cancer survivorship services in Wisconsin. So really, what is the state of things in Wisconsin? And so we were looking at what services are available and where could we maybe improve? Where are our gaps? And so we surveyed 40 cancer treatment facilities in Wisconsin. And we were looking at things like what medical staff were available. So were there radiation oncologists, fertility specialists, physical therapists? And then we were also looking at what services were available. So things like financial counseling, clinical trials, help to stop smoking, things that might help a cancer survivor for a variety of reasons. Perfect. So talk to me a little bit about why this survey was different or, or novel, at least like the first of its kind, right? Yeah, so this is the first statewide comprehensive um, cancer survivorship assessment. And so we're really excited to have been able to do that. And also, as we know, cancer survivors have unique physical and emotional needs. And as the cancer, number of cancer survivors increases, we really need to do a better job of identifying and managing these needs. So talk to me about some of the, the key points that came out of this survey. What are some of the most interesting findings? So the main gaps that we found were that there are gaps in fertility services, sexual health services, physical activity, and mental health services. And these are really varying depending on insurance coverage, health system, and location across the state. And um, what were some of the recommendations that came, what, what are some of the conclusions that the collaborative made when it comes to so we found that offering most of these services were tied to insurance coverage, and so future work should identify what cancer survivors want and need the most, but also more research and policy work is needed to increase insurance coverage and access to these services. And we just, we really want to increase awareness of this patchwork availability across the state because we want to make sure we're serving all cancer survivors across the state, rural and urban. Uh, talk a little bit about that. You said uh, the majority of these services were found kind of in the in the urban environment, so so rural kind of had that uh, more difficult access. Are there any other findings that came up from the survey on that? Yeah, so a lot of professions tend to be in the more urban centers or the larger cancer centers due to cost and availability. And so, for example, there were only 13 sites that had fertility specialist services, and so that might be a gap for if you're in a rural area, and we want to be mindful of that. So if you're a cancer survivor, my hope is that you can feel empowered to talk to your doctor about whatever you're facing after cancer treatment, be it physical, emotional, sexual, even if it's embarrassing or you don't want to bring it up with your doctor, please feel free and empowered to talk to your doctor about that. They're there for you and they are ready to help connect you with services to improve your quality of life. Anything else? Well, I hope you read our paper, and I'm very excited to be doing this. And also, I just, again, we really need to be increasing awareness of these issues. And I also encourage you to look at our Wisconsin Cancer Plan, and we talk about a lot of different strategies and priorities for helping improve the health and well-being of every Wisconsinite. So services that address the physical and emotional well-being of a person after cancer are really important for their overall quality of life, but they also can do things like help improve pain and functioning. And so these services are really important to the whole cancer survivorship experience.